been through some trials and tribulations. We are, but we're doing okay. We're gonna get in the water, get cooled off, and let you know what we think. So far, we're still alive. Long. <laughs> And we're moving at the speed of not moving, which is not very fast. But it's quite cooling sitting in the river. The River Frio. Looking. Oh, nice slide. I like that. Thank you. The Night's Fire, brought to you by T.J. Long. The fire has reached its prime. Hello. Welcome to day two of TJ and Papa's misadventure on the Frio River. We arrived at the Riverbend RV Park yesterday around two in the afternoon and did some recon. And now today we're going on to the river, onto the Frio, launching from the RV Park. Our plan is about a 10 mile paddle downstream to Third Crossing. Um, there's a pay lot down there you can park at cost twenty dollars a day cash only and if you need directions to get there just put it into google maps third crossing concan texas and it'll take you right to it so we will be showing you what goes on while we're on the river today yes we getting on the water 10 51 a.m we'll see how long this takes us what? he's uh already taking a head start Solitude on the river. Yeah. Sort of figured all that parking lot was up there. Mass of humanity for miles to come. At least the water's deeper. Portage. We did not choose to shoot the dam. Yeah, we survived the second crossing, one to go and we get out, hopefully we'll survive. It's been a long day, we've been on the river over six hours now, but we have ribeye steaks waiting for us when we're done.
we did it. We're on the river. Seven hours, 15 minutes. We've made it to third crossing. That's where we're parked. We're gonna go back and have ourselves a steak dinner. Okay, day three of TJ and Papa's misadventures on the Frio River. Yesterday turned out to be quite an adventure. What do you think, TJ? It was an adventure, it was really long. Seven hours, 45 minutes, but you know, we didn't die. So today we're just gonna take our tubes up the road about a mile and a half, toss it on the Frio and float back down here to our campground. So not taking the camera, so we'll let you know about it when we get back. Well, we floated the Frio from upstream from where we are. It was from a bridge. From a bridge, yeah. Uh, it was, I said we weren't taking the camera, but I'm going to take the camera back up there because you have to see the insanity. It is packed. The insanity going on up there. Uh, hour and 15 minutes, is that about right? Yeah, about right. Okay. About 15. So we floated, and, and that's what we truly did float. So I'm riding my bike back up to retrieve the truck where we got in at, but I'm going to give you a little bit of um, sights of what we saw up there because they're dropping people off by the hundreds of that entry point. So yep. we'll talk to you in a minute. Hey, I'm back where DJ and I put in. Uh, there's bus load after bus load. Just unloading to get in here. Here's the ingress. You can see that it's a little bit um, congested. Thousands of people. Thousands of people want to float the Frio. Day four. Uh, TJ and Papa's misadventure. We're headed back to Cedar back. Park. Yep. And then he has a long road trip back to Kansas. But been a great adventure. What do you think? I thought it was a good adventure. Yeah, so I liked it. we had a good time. So good. look forward to seeing you guys later.